Okay, this is not in your notes, but look up here and tell me which line would best represent the distance from line R to um, A, point A. C, K, A, G. So you're deciding, here's my point A, which one of these segments would best represent the distance from here to my line R? G. G. Got some options, right? Like, there's only too many. What do we think? I heard a lot of AGs, and I kind of heard some good reasons why. What do I say over here? Right angle. Right angle, and it's like the most direct. So the key today is the shortest distance between any two things, like from me to the door, from me to that round table, is the perpendicular distance. Okay? So perpendicular means what? Like 90 degrees. Um, yep, 90 degrees or a right angle, right? Okay, so let's practice that a little bit more. Given this picture, what's the best distance between point P and WZ? Find P and WZ. Oh, D P, right? I don't have these. Nope, it's not your notes. We're just looking at here. Okay. We're just having a good time. We're just having. What about J to W P? You guys agree? Okay, one more. Um, w and J P. W J P. Uh, w J. So here's W and here's J P. So what line? W J. Okay, so that's kind of what we're doing today, sort of. Why do you guys fill this in? So the distance between a line and a point not on the line is its perpendicular distance. Perpendicular. And there is only one of these. There is only one of these lines. Okay, so the key today everyone with me, is to plot it and see what's happening in your picture because it might be easier than you think. So this first one says find the distance between graphs y equals 5 and y equals 1. So y equals, is that this way or this way? This way. Everyone, 1, 2, 3, pick 1. Ready, set, go. 1, 2, 3, go. No, it's this way. It's this way. It goes through the y axis. <laughs> So y equals 1 goes through 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. So those are my two lines, and we're asked to find the distance between them. How did you guys get 4? Uh, 5 minus 4. Yeah. Is it fair to say that that would be perpendicular? Yeah. yeah, and how long is it? One, two, three, four. So graphic, because if you can count, then just count. So four is our answer. Yes, sir. It does. That is just, this looks like an upside down four. Oh. Okay, let's try this one. Oops, oops, oops. The point negative 3, 2. And x equals 4. 1, 2, 3. How am I going to do this one? Yeah, can I just count straight across? Would that be perpendicular? Yes. It sure would, so let's just count it. Seven? Yeah. 
Okay, so the trick is if you have a straight horizontal or vertical line, you can just count. But obviously, we're, no, we're not going to always have nice examples like that, like our next one. Okay? So we'll see you the process that we need to take to do this. Are you ready? All right. All right, so it says find the distance between P, which is at 2, 4, and a line that contains these next two points. So step one. Plot those points on a graph and let's see what we're dealing with. So plot those three points. Go. So two, four. That might help if you label it. If you call it P, you should call it P. Yeah, will you guys fix it? I this what happens when I make things in a rush. That's my fault. So does your picture look like that right now? Yeah. Okay, so our first job is to make the equation of this line right here. So I need to find my slope first. Negative one. Negative one, how'd you get negative one? Because nine over nine because yeah. negative five. Because the difference between negative 5 and 4 is 9, and then 3 is negative 2. Yep, what he kind of said it was a slope formula, so I'm going to write it out so everyone else can see it. But he's right. So do the slope formula between our two points right here. So M. We're going between these two points. So right now we're just finding the slope between my two blue dots. So I'm going to get negative 9 over 9, right? Which is what, David? Negative 1. Sweet. So neat count is right, but now I'm going to go through on my graph and connect my dots with my slope. So I know I'm going down 1 over 1 over 1, all the way down until they touch. So now I can make my line. Perfect. Yeah, I still haven't written this equation though yet. So how can I write the equation of this line if I know two points and my slope? Negative one. Minus. Our point slope formula. Y minus You guys want to use the first point? Okay. So we're using this point and our slope. So y minus 3 equals negative 1 x plus 5. Then we want to get y alone, so distribute, right? Did you guys get y equals negative x minus 2? Okay, now look, does that make sense? Is my slope, or y intercept negative 2? Yeah. All right, we did it. No. Okay. So we wrote our equation of this line here. Now we need to write the equation that goes through this point and is perpendicular to our green one. So it's going to end up somewhere over here, right? So if they're perpendicular, what do I know about the slope? Uh, opposite reciprocal. Opposite reciprocal. So what's the opposite reciprocal of negative 1? 1. And it's going through point P, which we know the ordered pair of. 2, 4. And then we're just repeating this process again up here. Wow. Using that point and that slope. You can do it. It's a process. It is a process. Plus side, homeworks only, five.
Now I'm going to make my line so that they actually touch so I can see what's happening here. So my slopes could, down what? Could you just change? Never mind. Are you okay? She doesn't So does that look like it's perpendicular there where they touch? Yeah. Yeah. So now we need to find their intersection point. So do I know where they touch by looking at my graph? What is that point? Negative two is zero, right? And we're calling this R, point R. A step ahead, like I'm doing the right Okay, so lost. No, like I, I did. Did everything right, but you just did it one, two, oh. wrong. Yeah, Probably because I labeled it wrong. That's my fault. No, I don't Okay, and then the last part says use the distance formula to find the distance between point R and P. So now we're just going to plug into the distance formula. You guys remember what the distance formula is? I'll help you. I just need space. All right, ready? It's not so bad. We do this one on D or This is your last step, five or four. <laughs> Whatever one you have. And our points are what? 2, 4. And what was R? So now we're just plugging these guys into our big old formula. Which one's the first one? What is negative 4 squared? Square root of 32 is approximately 5.6. That wasn't so bad. So really all you had to find was the two points and then the distance formula. It was just a grind. It was a grind. But it's like fun. It's like fun knowing you can do it. Uh, we're going to do one on your desk just for extra practice together. And then we will move on.